What is up guys? Welcome back for our week six match of the NBA. This week we were taking on Rise Pool, or aka Johnny. And uh, Johnny had a very scary team. If you haven't seen the team builder yet, definitely go check that out. It's the video that came out immediately before this one, as usual. And uh, as you can see, he brought a couple of uh, very threatening Pokemon. Uh, mainly Infernape and Scallopede were the biggest looking threats on his team. He has the Megalodios as well, which could be an issue. Uh, but I, had, I have things to handle it, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, mainly Scarf Tyrantia, but you guys will see. I'm just gonna jump right into this match. Uh, the lead I expected from him was indeed, excuse me, Infernape. I uh, couldn't get that out. So I'm expecting Infernape. I lead off with my Infernape uh, check, which is Yuxi, as he leads with the Infernape, as expected. I just throw out a Psychic turn one just to see what he's gonna do. He goes for a U turn, which is fine, and uh, he's gonna go into his Magneton. And basically, this turn, what I wanted to do was just get up my rocks. And this was probably a big misplay because uh, you guys will see later on in the game. Getting rid of this Magneton's item would have been very important uh, because I would have gotten some crucial information on what kind of Magneton set it was, and that would have helped me out later in the game. But uh, I'm just going to throw up my rocks on this turn as he actually doubles back into Infernape, risking another Psychic, which would have actually been uh, detrimental to him. Uh, he's just going to U-turn again as I'm going to throw out a uh, knockoff on this turn, and I'm able to get off uh, Clefable's item right there, which is indeed the Beery Berry, which was for, uh, for Scizor. So I expect him to have Flamethrower. I go for the Thunder Wave as he just goes for a Moonblast. Uh, I'm going to throw out a Psychic right here just to gauge the damage. I'm losing my Uxi in the process, which is not necessarily a good idea. Uh, he's just throwing off Moonblast, so on this turn I'm actually going to switch out into my Scizor, uh, be able to eat up the Moonblast, and here I want to scout for the Flamethrower as I switch back into Uxie. As he goes for the Flamethrower, gets a crit. I don't think it really mattered necessarily looking at the uh, Moonblast damage. So here I'm going to bring in uh, Thundolos as he gets fully paired on my Thunderbolt. I take this as an opportunity to nasty plot up as he goes for the Soft Boiled. I'll be able to go for another Thunderbolt right here, bring this thing down very low. I didn't want to risk him having Ice Beam as the last coverage move, so I just throw out a Hidden Power uh, Flying right here. As in retrospect, I should have probably nasty plotted again. As you're going to see, this Mega Latias comes in on me, goes for a Dragon Pulse, which doesn't do half, uh, but it does enough to the point where if he gets up a couple of Calm Mines, he can definitely knock me out pretty easily. He's going to go for the Recover right here. I go for another Hidden Power Fire, and we see the roll. Uh, the roll is uh, not in my favor. He goes for a Calm Mine on this turn. Uh, I go for a Hidden Power uh, Flying. Knowing that he cannot knock me out with a Dragon Pulse here, I'm going to go for another Nasty Plot and uh, bring myself up pretty high. And uh, the roll does not change that much, guys. After he goes for another Calm Mine, I'm going to go for HP Flying. It's only going to do 33%, which is pitiful damage. He goes for a, um, a Dragon Pulse right here. Looking at the damage from before, which is 48%, I don't think that crit mattered either. I'm going to go into Kratos on this turn, just knock this thing out with a Dragon Claw. I'm going to switch this down to normal speed, just so you guys can actually see what's going on in the meantime. He brings in his Mill Tank. I know I'm walled by this thing, so I go into Torque to eat up a Thunder Wave as he actually pulls a double. Very nice double into Infernape, threatening me out with the uh, close combat. I have to switch uh, directly into Miss Magius as he uh, makes another nice play and goes for U-Turn. Had I Earthquake there, it would have put me in a very favorable position, because something would have basically just died. He brings in his Magneton and... I switch in my Scizor, expecting a, uh, a Steel move because it hits the majority of my team. He goes for a Flash Cannon. Now this is where getting this Magneton's item off would have been crucial. Because here I take the Flash Cannon and I have Super Power. And I know that Super Power is just going to nuke something on his team other than the Scallopede. So I'm like, okay, I don't outspeed this yet because I'm not Mega Evolved. But if he's locked in, he won't be able to, uh, to stay in on me because I could roost off the damage. So he's going to switch out. He's gonna switch out, right? And as I'm clicking superpower, I there was there was a good like 18 seconds after I clicked the move where I was like, wait a minute, he's not choiced. He's not choiced. There's no way he's choiced. I should switch out into Tyrantrum. But I didn't cancel my move. And I end up going for the Mega Evolution and the Superpower as he hits me with a HP fire and he's not choiced. And he knocks out probably the biggest threat to his team. So now I'm forced into Tyrantrum. And I know I can go for an Earthquake, but it's not going to do anything to the mill tank. So I think I decide to throw off a, uh, a Head Smash here. I actually go for the Earthquake straight up, uh, just to not mess around with this. As now I'm going to go into my Mamoswine as he decides to get up his Stealth Rocks, which is a very good play. And uh, now he's going to Milk Drink. I'm going to go for the uh, Earthquake just to gauge the damage. It's only doing 42%, which is kind of scary. Uh, now I'm going to go for the Icicle Crash, forgetting that this thing is uh, faster than me. I'm trying to get a flinch, basically put it in range of another uh, Earthquake. And now I'm going to go for Knock Off to get this thing's item off. As he actually switches into Magneton. And now we're going to see that this uh, Magneton actually 
was holding a Chopple Berry. So, <laughs> very unfortunate there, as now he's going to be able to get a pretty much free switch into his Scallopede. I'm thinking here, is he going to Aqua Tail me? Um, it won't take me out, possibly, so I think I'm just going to stay in, as he actually turns out to be Superpower, which made a lot more sense for my team. He's uh, going to turn out to be a, um, a Life Orb set, and here I'm going to go into my uh, Tyrantrum, knowing that another superpower won't take me out at minus one, even with the life orb. So I'm going to bring this in. I'm just going to go for a head smash. He brings in his mill tank. I hit this thing for about 50%, uh, as you guys can see there. Another head smash will easily take it out. Finally reveal his item, which is a rocky helmet. And I miss the head smash, which is very unfortunate. He's going to go for a milk drink. Uh, I'm going to be able to head smash again as he just goes for a an attacking move on this turn, I think. Yeah, he goes for hammer arm, okay. There we go, and uh, he's not able to knock me out with that. I'm going to throw off another head smash, bring my down myself down to four uh, 3%. Miss Magius would have been able to bring this game back had I uh, knocked off the Infernape earlier in the game, and that's where I say this would have come into play. Um, Miss Magius was Scarfed, so even if the Scallopede went up to plus one, it didn't have anything to hit my uh, Miss Magius with hard enough to knock it out, as you guys will see in the following turns. He goes for Protect, so he was packing Protect for Scarfers. Very nice on Johnny's part. And uh, his Scallopede will be able to outspeed me on the following turn. Go for a Poison Jab, knock me out. It's his best move to hit. And uh, now I'm going to go into Miss Mag. And he knows that he can just throw out a Mega Horn. And even if he misses, Flare Blitz will be able to take me out. Uh, as you guys will see, Mega Horn is not able to knock me out because it is a resisted hit. And I'll be able to throw out a Shadow Wall at this point, knock the Scallopede out. But his Infernape comes in and straight up just knocks me out with a, uh, with a Flare Blitz. So that's going to be the end of the game right there. Unfortunately, we were not able to pick up this win, but it was a very narrow 1-0 loss. So we are currently 4-2 in our league uh, in the NBA, and uh, with a plus 13 differential. Differential, yeah. Uh, differential. So it's not looking too bad. However, our next week's opponent is probably the best player in the league, uh, Jar. And he's got a very scary team made up of Omega Absol, Manaphy, Lanarus I. I've been looking through his team. I started prepping for it already, and it's... Uh, it's definitely very, very scary, so uh, gonna have to watch out for Jar, gonna have to put a lot of time into prep, make sure my sets are okay, get a little bit of help possibly, uh, just so that we can pull out a win, or if we do lose, to make it as narrow as possible. Jar is uh, the number one seed in the league right now, I think he's undefeated as well, so I would love to be his first loss, if possible, uh, that would just make my day. But anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this week, if you enjoyed, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying watching us in the NBA, uh, make sure to leave a comment, let me know, and uh, check out my Twitter and my Facebook, both are in the description down below as always, and I thank you again for watching, I will catch you guys later. Ciao!